right there, right there, man. Put that over there. Hey, tell him we hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Truth be told, niggas broke, this is how they plan it. Hit our ass in the truck, J-Mo really ran there. Switching lanes with the stick, we and her Avenger. Looking for this nigga name, I am the Avenger. I spill lean on my shoes, so I'm kind of triggered. Niggas start lying on the prices, yeah, I kind of figure. A nigga trying to stay focused, see the bigger picture. Hopeless ass niggas get to talking, all you hear is gibber. Nowadays, all this capping make you need a perk. I throw a couple of them down, them bitches get me turned. A nigga talking down on me, my nigga, you ain't lurk. Speaking on the squad, to get you tied up and get burnt. I started having a little taste for a deuce of syrup. I hit my little brother up for a Tina Turner. My nigga Mike hit me up, say he need my burner. Same day they try to take your baby ass off the curb. Or 8 mile and 94 trying to hit a serve. They in a Nissan van and they say it's teal. Smoking big bookie wood, passing Beaconsfield. I'm a dog food, Damien Hill, stop at you. My old heads really love me, say I got the wheel. Got an old bitch that got blue cross and blue shield. Got a ratchet bit that pop perks, nigga, and do drills. Brain versus in scripts, David Copperfield. Truth be told, niggas broke, it's just how they plan it. Hit her ass in the truck, J Mo really ran her. Switching lanes with the stick, we and her adventure. Looking for this. What up, though, YouTube? We back in the building. What's good? If this your first time coming across the page, lock into the real. You know the deal. Like, subscribe. You already know the vibe. We back in the building. We got another episode of Southwest T is trash. It's paining me to my heart that I got to do this to my guy, Southwest T. But we got a new, we got a new episode, y'all, because the events that transpired in the last episode, which was episode two of season three of BMF, was downright despicable. Before we get into it, I got a special message from a near and dear friend of mine. Here we go. In the right. motherfucking streets today, pressing these niggas hard as fuck. All right? I need you to lock in, bro. You hear me? I definitely, definitely need you to lock in. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn me up. Turn me up. And I got a special message from one of the OGs right here. See, some people know how to win. They always win. See, that's me. No matter what, nothing can stop me from winning. Then some people can never win. That's you. Some people can never win. That's the haters, man. The press tour will never end. You suckers will never win. Let's get to it, man. And I got a another message from the OG. A lot of niggas don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. We can't take none of this shit with us. None. Ain't no armored trucks pulling up at no funerals. Simple. So you better enjoy this shit. Just a fool and his money will park. We do this, so we ain't worrying about it. We when we go out at night, you there, you there, you have it on your food. Sure, part. Hey, we do this. We do. This. A lot of niggas don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. We can't stop playing. Let me see who up in here with us early. Demarcus Vaughn getting it started. Got me a super stick. Appreciate you, Demarcus, for showing love. Daria in the building. Queen in the building. RD. Yeah, we. We lit. You know what it is. Let's get into it, man. Hope everybody having a great day today. <laughs> of course, man. We talking about BMF season three, episode two. We're gonna break down all of the plays, right? This thing, this simp, this simp, the simp guy himself, right? And that's Southwest T Terry Flannery. All right, but first, let me break it down, man. You know, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? You can call whoever, listen, a long time ago, I, I, I figured it out, man. Just have fun with this. Look, if you want to call somebody a simp, this and that, I don't mind, right? Since I was one of the first people making whole shows out of this topic right here, this simping and doing and things of that nature, it's kind of become a phenomenon. Right, so Detroit Kings kind of asked me to give the definition for simping. I'm not gonna give the definition for simping because just like snitching, listen, it don't matter. Different strokes for different folks, man. But for me, this is what I consider to be a simp. It's when you, when you have, when you are uh, overly, like you're doing way too much for your significant other or for somebody else and the feelings are not mutual or not on the same level right so for example look at Tariq for example yeah he will be a low low level 
simping for Effie, but the feeling is mutual, so that's why I stand on bronze. Right, but then you look at somebody like uh Terry or somebody, right? This woman is 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 clearly just juicing this dude, right? So for me, it's what you're doing and the feelings that the that the other person have for you, right? That that counts. In the Discord, we kind of got they kind of tried to call uh Stringer Bell. If you watch the wire, they <laughs> They called him a simp, which is, you know, I don't see how that is. Um, I know I'm getting off topic, but I just had to break this down real quick. You know what I'm saying? So simping, what's simping for you is not, you know what I'm saying, what it be simple for me. I'm not trying to teach nothing. I'm try, not trying to argue with you, but you want to a big review, right? We do this here, so we're going to break this down. We got three people that we're talking about today, right? First person I'm going to talk about is, of course, man, and we in and out of here like a robbery today. We in and out of here like a robbery. The market say Terry is a simpleton when it comes to Markeisha. Yes, we're going to get into Terry. Suburbia Team Charles in the building. Dog, I don't know about that, my G. Charles is a sucker. We That's, who, that's exactly who we talking about first, Suburbia. All right, so <laughs> we got the doc right here, right? So the doc is, is is making his move. We all saw it on the last episode, right? The doc is making his move, right? He's he's, he's talking to Lucille. He got her smiling and giggling. I ain't seen I seen all thirty two uh, of Lucille's teeth. Man, I haven't made damn teeth she got in her mouth. We seen all of them, right? She's smiling from ear to ear. Right, and Charles is still standing over to the side, looking weak as hell, talking about your beautiful Lucille. Dude, Charles, give it up, my G, my guy, give it up. You're making yourself look ridiculous, man. Maybe you could bounce back in the future, but for right now, Charles, give it up. And it's it look, it's happening, people. This doctor right here is about to give Lucille a gut inspection. He's going to inspect her guts. I promise you that. Detroit Kings in the building. Detroit Kings, what's good, my G? I had to come on a little later. It's going to be a real quick live, but I broke down kind of what my definition is of a simp. Now, you could call, listen, you could call whoever you want to call a simp. I don't got to agree with you. I'm talking to the community now. If you're doing more more for a person, you simply simple as that. You're going above and beyond, and this person is not going above and beyond for you, or those feelings are not mutual. You're simping. <laughs> you're simping. But look, Charles, give it up, my G. The doc is look, I've never seen all Lucille's teeth. It's over for Charles. You gotta move on, man. You're making yourself look ridiculous, bro. Yes, I know you want your family and your wife back, but dog, it ain't happening right now, my dog. It ain't happening. Yes, Charles is a big simp, man. Hey, we moving Charles on up to to gold level, man. You're beautiful, Lucille. Like, come on, my G. Dog, don't even say too. Like, what? What's going on here, bro? She's sitting in there with with the dude's car, fantasizing about this dude, and you talking about you're beautiful, Lucille. Move, move. Charles is on a trajectory, right? Charles is on the trajectory because look, the doc is about to get her, is about to get Lucille one of them good old fashioned uh, gut inspections. You know what I'm saying? Got to inspect the guts. The doc is gonna be knee deep in, in Lucille. Right, you gotta give her that good inspection. I mean, it's seen it. What's good? Yep, and Charles is gonna find out about this and run to the ATL. He might even cry. <laughs> oh, hey, Charles crying, bro. Charles find out he's gonna cry. Hey, we're gonna <laughs> I'm about to get a clip, bro. Charles is gonna find out and he's gonna cry. Lucille, look, this dude is about to crack Lucille. Charles only had a couple lines, and one of his lines was, you beautiful, Lucille. And what did Lucille say? 
What did Lucille say? Good night, Charles. You punk mother. Dude, what the fuck? Dog. I wouldn't have said, I'd have just been like, what up, Lucille? I probably wouldn't even say nothing. She'd have been wondering why is he not saying nothing to me? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with you? She'd be asking me, what's wrong with me? <laughs> yeah. Charles is a sucker, man. Sitting here, you're beautiful, Lucille. No, I wouldn't have said nothing to her. Yeah, she was looking good, but I ain't saying nothing to her. She out here caressing this man's car, fantasizing about this doctor. Okay, do what you got to do. Look, it's happening. This dude is a sucker, but I guess, you know, it's GBG. Go, hey, go get you a hoodie. GBG is get back game for Lucille, man. Hit that like button, man. Stop playing. This is t- this is Southwest T is trash, but I got to break it down, man. Charles Flannery is a sucker, man. A straight simp. DeMarcus said, I don't think doc- Dr. Maurice will be able to deal with Terry and BMF. He ain't got to deal with Terry or BMF. He just got to get deal with Lucille and the, the issues that she's having internally in, in her guts. Right? He just has to get in there and, and, and handle his business, you know, and give her that thorough gut inspection that she has, you know, been needing for a while. You know what I'm saying? Because last season we saw where Freaky Chuck, Freaky Chuck was drained by the time he got to got to Lucille, man. Because Mabel had that boy on the wall. That boy was shaking on the wall, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Freaky Chuck they had no energy to give her. You know what I'm saying? So, trust me, this guy is <laughs> Charles. Might even walk in on it. He might. He might have to uh have to slap slap this dude upside his head or something, man. I I'm here for it. But my man Freaky Chuck, he's a he's a done deal, man. I just want to see this man get his dignity back. Yes, he made a mistake. He made a mistake, right? He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have cracked Mabel. You know what I'm saying? He made the mistake, but look, sometimes we can't bounce back from our mistakes, man. I want this man to be a man, man. Just own up to your mistake and keep it moving, man. Stop crying about it, bro. Do you did the crime? Do the time, bro. She don't want to mess with you. Don't move on. I will be hurt, but the world will never know. Right? I'm out of here. Nobody will ever would never know my pain, man. Just it's just between me and my inner thoughts, bro. Lucille, you're so beautiful. Come on, dog. Renee in the building. What's good? Suburbia say when Charles is surrounded by strippers in the VIP, I'm going to laugh. Hey, he need to do something. He need to do something. Now, the next character, that's Charles. I'm, I'm all freaky Chuck. Freaky Chuck, you done, bro. The doc about to give Lucille what she need, what she been needing. For the past two seasons, look at the smile on the do- <laughs> This African doctor is about to inspect Lucille's uh, woman area. You know what I'm saying? He's about to inspect. So get ready. Another character I'm going to talk about before I talk about the goat, the simp goat, and that is Southwest T. Flannery, right? Terry Flannery, the GOAT, before I get to talking GOAT about the GOAT of Simping, I just want to talk about this meat situation, right? So, yeah, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Listen, you you can say, I'm not going to argue with you. There's two things I'm not going to argue about. On Brillo the Brick, I'm not going to argue about snitching, and I'm not going to argue about simping. You can call it whatever you want to call it. We don't have to agree. I'm having way too much fun. But we know who started the phenomenon. That would be me. I was the first person making whole shows about simping, whole shows about snitching, and things of that nature. But this right here, calling Meech, anything other than an MVP, anything other than a drug dealing wizard, a master of the drug game, is out of pocket. Meech, they called it, the episode was called The Magician. He's like, a, he's a wizard with it, man. First of all, this girl could have been any girl who had, you know what I'm saying, the information that he thought that he needed. Now, I know what you're going to say, but he didn't even need the information, and he ended up doing this and this and that. 
I didn't I didn't know the man was a psychic. He's not going to sit on his hands and wait for it to fall in his lap, even though it did fall in his lap. That's how much of a good hustler it is. It did fall on his lap, but he still can't wait around because he's the goat of hustling. He's a wizard with it. Right. So he's listen. He is showing this young lady something that she has never experienced in her lifetime. And that is a good conversation. Even when she said she wasn't going to give him the info, he still gave her a little bit of cheese and, and just talk to the woman, man. Meech is all, it's a thin line. Okay. It's a difference between respecting and protecting our queens and simping. You suckers is, are out of pocket. This is why you can't keep a bed. Oh, I'm sorry. This is why you can't keep a woman. You don't know how to treat them. You too busy being a sucker. You either a simp or a gorilla. It ain't no in between, bro. Like, come on, man. You gotta find them gray areas when you dealing with when you dealing with a woman. This is why you dudes are single, bro. This is why you can't find a good woman. You don't know how to treat them. It's craziness. So he's having a conversation with this chick, and he finds out that she. You know what I'm saying? Has been getting exploited by this dude, Greeny. Right? Ever since she was young. So I'm saying no parents in and out of foster homes. So he's feeling a type of way about this because they're humanizing the character. He's a human being. He's not just a, 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 a brainless drug dealing monster. He actually cares about this girl. He's sitting there talking to her, getting to know her. You know what I'm saying? Do he want to marry this chick? No. Did he fall in love with this chick? Absolutely not. Did he? Does he like this girl? Absolutely. She's a beautiful young woman with a hell of a story. Right? So he takes up for the chick at the club. She see her getting pressed. He takes up for her and put the paws on somebody, which he routinely does. Get active with the hands. Routinely. Right, all in the all in the premise of protecting this woman who nobody else protects. Everybody exploited her. She walked in this restaurant like, damn, I ain't never been to a restaurant like this. She used she used to be in dingy, <laughs> she used to be in dingy, dirty hotel rooms with stains on the sheets. <laughs> she walked in here like, what? You still gonna give me some money? Yeah, because there's nothing to a boss, man. What are we doing here? That's not simping. The law is not. Okay, then, he, of course, he gets the information that he wanted. You do realize that this could have been Rasputia right here. If she had the, inf if she had the information that Meech needed, it could have been Rasputia. He, didn't, he wouldn't gave a damn. Right? He still would have treated her the same. And he still would have got the information. And then this is the big thing. Where's OT Lungs at? Because he said to Greeny. And who the hell cares about Greeny? Ain't nobody scared of Greeny. Ain't nobody. Dude, come on, man. This dude don't got no, like, what? Because he said she's special. Because she said she's special? Dude, you dudes are scary, man. What you scared of? Y'all scared of confrontation? You do, dudes, you sounded suckish, man. I'm just saying, I'm calling you. You scared of confrontation with Green? We're trying to take over the ATL, and you dudes is scared of confrontation with Greeny. Dude, of all people, bro, this is not the boss. This is not the cart. This is not the connect. This is not nobody. You scared of a confrontation with this guy right here? I will slap fire. I will slap the palm off this dude. Means, come on, man. You dudes are crazy. Crazy. I'm, I'm supposed to tiptoe around this dude? What are y'all watching, man? Come on, man. We got to wise up. We got to wise up, man. And I'm call, I'm saying that I'm on my Detroit Kings. DC Carter, OT, you out of pocket, man. 
I don't give a damn because he said the girl was special. You dudes, is, why are we pretending? Why y'all pretending, dude? Y'all pretending, bro. Like you just like, come on, man. You, you we not, <laughs> dude. Y'all, y'all some type of gorilla pimps, now. Nah. Y'all really intimidated by this dude, man. Come on, man. We supposed to be intimidated. We supposed to what? We supposed to bite our tongue around Greeny? No. You need to start respecting this girl before I take every girl in this damn place. Point blank, period. I will take every girl in this place. Because I'm Meech. Point blank, period. Stop playing, man. Look at him. Raising her up. Got the chain on. Just talking to her about her day, man. Actually listening to this woman. You talking about Meech in love? She in love. Ain't nobody ever even asked her her damn her her story. Don't nobody ain't nobody asked her her story, and for nothing, right? But me thought he needed the information, even though it came out that he didn't. And people saying Greeny set him up, this and that. Me, untouchable. It don't matter. I don't. We don't know if that's happened. That's a good theory, but it don't matter, right? He got the Midas touch, man. Everything he touched turned to gold. It doesn't matter. Set him up. Who cares? The plug came to find us. She didn't set him up. And if Greeny set him up, we already know Greeny, Greeny is a pack. He's un, he's not important. He's not important enough to respect. Talk about Dirty Mac. I don't give a damn about Greeny. You do. <laughs> he don't like fighting. He don't like his chicks either. He going to get all of them knocked. The market said he doesn't think Charles is a simp. I have to disagree with you. I mean, Charles is a big simp for Lucille, man. He's been simping for her for what seems like an eternity. And now he's a big simp, but we're talking about the legend right here. DC Cutter, OT, you the pocket, man. Point blank, period. And I expect that from DC Cotter. I don't expect it from OT, man, because he told the chick she was special. Nobody give a damn about Greeny. Listen, I am not, I do not expect this legend to tiptoe around Greeny because he can watch a couple bills. You think he's the only person at ATL that can watch bills? Meech is a damn money machine. People lining up to watch his money, man. What are we talking about? Not tiptoeing around Greeny. You do sound like straight suckers. Ooh, ooh, he shouldn't have said what he said to Greeny. He shouldn't have said what he... Who the flock is Greeny? I didn't know he was a connect. I didn't know he was a plug. He's a regular daggler dude with a damn perm. Me to slap fire out that dude. What am I respecting him for? Come on, dog. Dude sound like straight suckers. Oh, Greeny. Man, fly Greeny. The fuck what's going on here, man? Detroit Kings, what's wrong with him, dog? Talking about, oh, Greeny. I didn't like he was dirty macking. He was dirty macking on Greeny. Get the come on, man. Get out of here with that, man. It's a dirty game. You don't deserve listen. Don't, you don't deserve no respect. If it's not your man, somebody in your crew, ain't no such thing as dirty macking. If a chick choose you, she choose you, man. He ain't talk bad about Greeny. That's dirty. He ain't he ain't say you need to leave Greeny and come with me because Greeny is this, 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 and that. He ain't said two words about it. He just told that dude to tighten up. Point blank, period. Yeah, he the one laundering money, but he ain't the only person in Atlanta that can launder some damn money. Meech is a money machine. Greeny is not the only dude that can launder some money. What the hell? Do you know how big Atlanta is? Come on, dog. I can't believe I'm saying this, man. You do sound like suckers, man. We, what up, though, Monique? They ain't here sounding like suckers. Oh, I'm so scared of Greeny. Man, flock Greeny, man. This is the GOAT right here. Right, we'll take all your hoes, Greeny. We'll call this boy Meech's Boom Boom Room. We will have you escorted out of here, dog, and find somebody else to clean our millions, man. What are we doing? I could, dude, I can't believe Mike. So get OT on the line, bro. You got an answer for this, man. I can't believe my Detroit brother out here sounding like a sucker. Oh, Greeny. 
I just don't like what he said. He said she was special. Hey, if she's special, let it be known. She's special. Hey, she's special. We don't bite our tongue, man. We Detroit. We don't bite our tongue. We say what needs to be said. And if it's some, something that come behind that, we handle that too. Come on, man. You're supposed to know that. You better know that. This dude not intimidating us. We are Detroit. We say what we need. We say what needs to be said. We say what y'all are scared to say. Flock you, Greeny. I take all your bitches. Point blank, period. I can't believe my dude sounding like suckers, but I'm going to stop, right? I'm going to chill. This is crazy right here. Talking about just because he said that he told another, he told another man his girl was special. And the other man ain't do nothing but smile about it. And guess what? I take all of them in here. And she is special because I ain't got no respect for you because you don't know how to treat a woman. So you dudes don't know how to treat, you mistake treating, a, you, you mistake treating a, a woman well with simping. This is crazy right here. I expect more from certain individuals. I'm just going to say that. And I'm going to proceed to my finale right here. We're going to talk about the GOAT, right? The undisputed champion of simping. And that is the legend right here. Listen, I don't care what it takes. Get me the OG on the on the line. I need him on the show. This shit, this better be loosely based, T. This better be loosely based. Oh, yeah, Monique, they don't know how to, they don't know how to treat a woman. They mistake, they mistake it for simping. They mistake, they mistake what Meach did for simping. Come on, dog. That's why you can't find a good one. And you only attracting the riffraff. Come on, man. Lock into the real dog. This is despicable out here, man. In the motherfucking streets today, pressing these niggas. Hard as fuck. Alright? I need you to lock in, bro. You hear me? I need you to lock in. We about to talk about the GOAT, man. What transpired in this last episode was none short of sad, man. I was both appalled and saddened by the legend's behavior. And listen, my Detroit is out here. It's seven degrees of separation. Listen, I got to get the legend on the line. I know you got... I know you, I know time is money and you got better things to do than be on my little insignificant YouTube channel, but, but Southwest T, I need you on the show, bro. I need to hear it from your mouth that this is cap right here. It has to be cap. It said loosely based, right? This was, this was in between here. This right here. Oh my God. I got to I got to I got to calm down a little bit. Man. I cannot believe what this young man is doing on television. He proceeds to buy this woman a house, man, without even buying his girlfriend or a baby's mother a house. She's in there ordering marble counters. You know what I'm saying? Oak, wooden oak beds and furnitures and all type of expensive and extravagant things for said house. As soon as he comes in the room, she has the audacity. This dude is a, oh my, yeah, he's through, man. He's through. He is through. He should have did everything except slap fire out this chick. She had the audacity to say, but Boone is still my husband. But Boone is still my husband. It would have took the it would have took God not for me to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I never advocate putting your hands on a queen, but dude, I would have had to walk away. That would have been the last thing I said to her would have been get yo shit and get the flock out of my house you stinking bitch that's exactly what i would do 
I would have walked away from her so where I could not reach her. Because the disrespect that she showed, talking about, I don't want you to stay here. And I'm still Boone's wife. Okay. Okay. Get, oh, my God. I'm going to check the comments, dog. I'm going to check the comments, dog. Marquisha is trash. Yes. Yes. My God. I mean, yeah, they love Sims, but let me tell you, dude, they love they love that masculine energy more, bro. Trust me. Trust me, dude. They want to uh, uh this generation kind of want a submissive provider. <laughs> a submissive provider. That's what Terry is, the submissive provider. But it ain't about Latre King say woman. Love. It ain't about what they what they love, bro. It ain't, it ain't about what they love. You gotta show them. You gotta show them different. This dude is a submissive provider. What are you doing? Disgusting, dude. And he ain't. I really hope that that they do something to help this character because this is going. Down, down, down. This is right. The ultimate disrespect. I do, do. All respect for this guy is done, man. And listen, and then he has the audacity, dude, to go back to this girl right here, man, who been down for this dude. She ain't say nothing to the police. She just a young chick, man. She actually rocking with this dude. She knew him before he even had the cheese and was rocking with him. And then you doing her this grease, and you're not going to do nothing but break her heart even more. This is the one that's down for you, bro. She ain't said nothing to the cops. The cops showed her you eating the box, and she ain't do nothing. Say nothing, bro. You disrespecting her like this. Go right back to her. She take your goofy self back. And then, bro, you, why didn't you kick her out the house and move you and your son in the crib? You got a whole crib, my G. That ain't goaded. That ain't goaded, man. That's simpery, bro. <sighs> CPS don't need to be called. Nah, nah, man, because they with their grandma. Yeah, LaWanda's a real, she a real one, man. And he. Oh, he's gonna go do nothing but break that girl heart again. Disgusting, man. That's why, bro. Well, why do you should have rocked with Meech, man? <laughs> Meech would at least had you a little house. He'd have had you a house. He wouldn't have been with you, but you would have understood what it was, and he'd have had you a house, and little and little Meech would have been taken care of, all that. But this sucker got you living with his parents in a, in that weak ass crib. You ain't even get her a little house, like a little house in Detroit, a little bungalow or something, dog. And you buying matches for this old Kruger talking about? I'm still married to Boone, and I don't want you to. Well, you you, you want to break up? This dude said so. You want to break up, dog? If I look, listen, bro. I know, I know the OG don't care because he's making money, bro. And he could care less about what anybody thinks and what they're doing on this show. But I would feel a way, bro, if they portray my if they portray me this way, bro. It's just crazy. Like, what is he gonna do tomorrow at 12? I mean, not tomorrow, Thursday at 12. What is he gonna do? What's next for him? And I tried to tell y'all ages ago, man. That this guy is really the GOAT. I got a public service announcement from the real GOAT. The one that they wanted to say was snip was simping because he said she was special. If she's special, she's special. I mean, we don't care nothing about Greeny. Come on, man. A message from the GOAT. A lot of niggas don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. We can't take none of this shit with us. None. Ain't no armored trucks pulling up at no funerals. Simple. So you better enjoy this shit. Just a fool and his money will park. 
we do this. So we ain't worrying about it. We when we go out at night. Mm -hmm. This has been short of a spectacular first two episodes for Demetrius. <laughs> and and the opposite stands for Terry. Like, this is crazy, man. What's next for what is next for Terry, bro? We're about to slide up on it. We got 30 people in the building, man. Hit the like button and subscribe, man. Can y'all believe? <laughs> Subscribe, man. People not subscribing. It's crazy. I'm actually losing subs. Putting in all this work and losing subs is crazy. Bro. That, that just pissed me off. I'm like, damn. How I'm losing subs? That don't even make sense. Somebody get mad at one little thing you say and unsubscribe. And unsubscribe. Lori still is with her parents. She taking care of it though, bro. And her parents is rich. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't move out. And she probably she probably got her own crib too. It's a totally different situation. He'll buy her a house if she wanted one. She probably don't want one. She probably don't want one. Beach baby mama still lives with her mom. Yeah, she still lived with her mom, but she didn't seem to be struggling at all. They seem to have a nice crib. And me take you know me taking care of his business. And if she needed it, she he would have bought her a crib. He wouldn't, she don't live with his parents. They not struggling. Some people have good come from good families, right? Where you know what I'm saying they take you don't have to just move out because you you know what I'm saying? 19, 20 years old. You don't have to just get out. They don't just kick you out. You know what I'm saying? So, do so y'all saying that to say what? I was wrong. Do you really think Meech would, wouldn't buy her a house? Demarcus, do you do you think Meech wouldn't buy his baby mama a house? Because I don't think that. I, I know he would. Um, SJ Smith, do you think Meech wouldn't buy his baby mama a house? Like, which I just want to say I'm wrong. I'm pointing out this for what? It don't change the fact. You, do you think Meech wouldn't buy his baby mama house if she needed one? Because LaWanda need a crib. She don't have no... She's sitting there struggling. Hey, look. We about to get up out of here. A little recap before we slide up out of here. This has been Southwest T is trash. A little recap. The doc is about to do an inspection on Lucille's guts. Uh, probably in the next two episodes, he's going to be knee deep in those. Charles is probably going to shed a tear <laughs> like the simp that he is. And there you have it. Uh, Dudes is out of pocket for ever fixing their mouth to say anything negative about the GOAT. I won't stand for it at all. If you thought I went hard for Rock or Tariq, come on, man. I will not stand for any slander of the GOAT. It's not happening, bro. Just because you dudes don't know how to treat a woman. So, like, it's no gray area. You either dogging a woman out or sipping. But like I said, believe what you want to believe. On Brittle the Big Review, I'm going to keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? It's great areas, bro. Me should just treat. What did he do at Freak Neat? Protected a woman. Right? That's what he does, man. He got a soft spot for the ladies. But he's not about to fall in love with, it, with this chick. He actually got another love interest. What did he do last year when he went to the uh, club? Right? <coughs> I remember somebody tried to say Meech was a simp because he paid old girl to wish it because and he smashed her in the boom boom room. What you gotta understand is that's a transaction, right? That's meaningless to him. If you stand next to a boss, you're gonna get just being in his presence, something good is gonna happen for you. Cause he's generous with his money, man. 
You heard what he said? Come on, man. This is the real life words that he's saying right here. He's generous with his money. A lot of niggas don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. We can't take That's what he said. A lot of dudes don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. Ain't no Brinks truck putting up to no funerals. That's, <laughs> come on, dog. And finally, of course, Southwest T. Shame on you, Southwest T. We about to slide up out of here, man. I appreciate everybody for falling through. What y'all think, man, in the comments, man? Let me know, man. Is Terry going to do something? Will we have an episode three of, Ter of Southwest T is trash? Let me know in the comments before we get out of here. Monique throwing honeys up. Meg Allen, appreciate you for falling through. We about to slide up out of here, man. It's been a good live. Subscribe, man. I can... If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Listen, I'm about to leave you with a little JMO SG. Borrow. I mean, uh, Avengers. Detroit's own. Let's get to it, man. And thank everybody for coming through. Appreciate y'all for falling through. TVC in the building. And we up out of here to press tour. Nigga name, I am the Avenger. I feel lean on my shoes, so I kind of trigger. Nigga start lying on the prices, yeah, I kind of figure. A nigga trying to stay focused, see the bigger picture. Hopeless ass niggas get to talking. All you hear is gibber. Beach. Beach. Squad. SG, nigga.